All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments Part 12. And we are back at it again. La the world has, like, not changed at all, other than the fact that the Eastern Roman Empire is now, like, defending its own claim on itself, basically. So as long as it holds together, nothing's really changed. Um, that could end up mattering a lot. I just don't think it'll happen, but I could be wrong. Uh, thank you to X Flame, P Chaffee, Lore Master, You Are So You, Okama Pope, Meow, Harshil Kakadia. Uh, if I said your name wrong, please tell me how to say it. I don't want to say your name wrong on purpose. Lisa Gordon, Tobias Winker, and yeah. Thank you so much all for your comments. I really appreciate it. Some thoughts on last time were that, yeah, it is just too dangerous to travel at the moment, but I could make it a little more safe if I were to hire a Caravan Master. And honestly, we have a pretty good income now. I should just be doing these jobs anyway at this point. I should really be doing this anyway. So I really quickly looked at all of our options. And for Caravan Master, I was actually looking at Auk. I know it says average instead of good. But that only really affects our army movement speed and supply limit more than anything else. But her travel speed is 10 and safety is 20. Which is better than the good ones in front of her. So I think I'm going to let Auk be our Caravan Master as well as our strongest of the of the sun so let's do that the food taster can be masood because he's the only guy good at it and i want someone good at being a food taster master of the horse is going to be kareem of course our man the myth the legend like i said i already looked at these before i started recording sorry if that's lame i don't know master of the hunt so actually i had an idea bogears was the very first peasant leader we ever uh, ran across and we ended up recruiting him because of his high martial and prowess and he's been disfigured maimed etc and he has been more or less loyal to us for over 20 years now since we captured him at first and recruited him and after over 20 years of service if he accepts this conversion i'm gonna make him a master of the hunt as he has somewhat proven himself as someone that we can count on and he is extremely talented so let's give him the demand conversion attempt. If it fails, then he'll just continue to not be that guy. But he could be. High Almoner, we don't really need, to be honest. And nobody's great at it anyway. And Autumnmore's about to die, hopefully. So Seneschal, we definitely need county control. Our county control is so bad. It's awful. Magira is 56, only average. But at 56, we're only signing on to having her for so long. So average is fine for now. So let's go with Magira for our Seneschal. For a cupbearer to prevent murder schemes, hopefully. Uh, we can have Juditha take care of that. She's got a paranoid, forgiving, patient personality, which might be the perfect cupbearer personality, if I'm being honest. It almost doesn't get better than that, so let's appoint her there. Then we have a court jester. And Hatia Suleiman is the only guy capable of doing it at an average level. It has a possibility for stress-relieving events. Court Granger goes up. This feels like something we shouldn't skip just because he might look a little goofy. And to be honest, that doesn't even look that goofy. Clearly, jesters in this area of the world don't look nearly as goofy as the Western jesters do, like this picture <laughs> suggests. Uh, court Poet, we only had one option. So Aaliyah, we're going to go ahead and appoint her. And we've gone from 4.5 to 3.8 now. So we've so far spent 0.7 gold a month on this. Court Position, nobody is... For all I know, this is just going to make things worse. So I'm not going to bother with that. And then the rest of this is fine. Can't do an Executioner. None of these Court Artificers are worth. I don't want a Personal Champion or Bodyguards for that price. And I don't want a Personal Champion because... Or do I... I don't want Dread Decay. That's the thing. Dread Decay is bad. Prestige per month is good. Could take your place in duels is good. Earns you prestige when competing in a grand tournament is good. All of that is good except for the Dread Decay. I want to be dreadful. That's actually a good thing for us. 62 right now, which is excellent. Wait! Does that mean negative 25% as in... Dread Decay is slower? 
Maybe that is what that means. Maybe I take Auk as a personal champion? Oh, the dread goes down slower. That's so good. Should have been doing that a while ago. Alright, would you look at that. With all those hired and cheap, this turn A can be ransomed, actually. I didn't notice that last time. My bad. With all that said, our court grandeur should now be at... 4. Baseline 33, so 3 extra. Yeah, so we still need all this at 2 to make it there, but 4 court grandeur is above what's expected of us. So that's not bad at all. We take that. Court Grandeur 4 is not bad. That is not bad. Um, those are the two main things I wanted to look at. Once this feast is over, we can look at what the trip will be like, danger-wise, now that Auk is our caravan master. We're gonna loot- we're gonna be so sad when Auk passes away. Because she is a legendary blade master, our best knight, our caravan master, our personal champion, and our knight with an accolade. Our strongest servant of the sun. Ak is all of that. She is an absolute beast of a woman. Mankari might even be attracted to that, to be honest. But she is 50... I don't know. Do we marry Ak until she passes? I don't, I don't think so. But the fact that I even thought about it is a testament to how impressive Ak is. Alright, let's hit play. He refused conversion. Alright, then he will not be our Master of the Horse. That made that easy. Master of the Hunt, I mean. God, are we serious? Are we making Hawk all of these Hawk all these things? Master of the Horse. Master of Horses, Master of the Hunt, Caravan Master, Personal Champion, and Strongest Servant of the Sun. Auk is a legend. Easily the second most important, impressive person in this whole nation. She's an absolute unit! Oh my god, Auk. That income, 0.2 per month for all she does, that's not enough. Wow, okay. Anyway, moving back on, hitting play. That's crazy. We're going to get this soon, too. Turn A paid us 43. Thank you. Yeah, we only went up two years in age in the last video. Like, things are moving slow. Slow, slow, slow. Alright. But back to this. Our fee should be happening soon, but Shia joins our court? Says who? How? Why? Who allowed this? Gluttonous, arrogant, sadistic. Who? Ah, uh, 90 is good. He's intimidated by us. Alright, fine. I guess I'm going to demand a conversion. I don't know why he's a part of our court, but alright. If he converts, I'm not going to fight it too hard. Good, he converted. Alright, I can live with it then. Not very talented, but... Oh, he joined our murder scheme! Really? Get this man out of here! Invite. Can be convinced in Yoka. Could bribe her for 18 gold. 16 stress because we're greedy. It it loses us. It causes us stress to bribe people to help. Oh, shit. That's actually going to make... That's actually going to make abducting... <laughs> abduct... This is so messed up. This is going to make abducting our future wives a lot harder if it's stressful to recruit people to our cause. Damn. That's actually a minor problem for sure. Wow, our court poet did not make it very far, did she? Rest, And that was the only one who was qualified, so I guess we just won't have a court poet. Yeah, nobody. Okay. <clears throat> Does that put our court grandeur at 32 then? Still 33 somehow. Huh. Interesting. Alright, Anamora, it's coming up. There it is, the Intrigue lifestyle. We can now abduct as soon as Anamore dies. I want to get every skill in the learning tree. I mean, every single one. I don't want to skip a single thing. Um, I could skip out prowess per level of devotion plus two. That's ten prowess and ten faith hostility advantage. Wait a minute. 
Since when was this a perk? I don't remember this perk at all. Wait, that's actually a crazy perk. That can actually actually make that combined with these marshals right here could actually make him a really solid commander. That's wild. Wow, that is actually wild. Huh. This is what we need from this one. And then Scholar and Whole of Body are both really good. Small health boost, all that good stuff. If I go for this, August, and grab these four in Marshall, can I still max out all my learning trees? That's the question. That's kind of asking a lot, isn't it? Four prowess, 75% knight effectiveness, five advantage, and four more knights. That's a lot of power and four perks. I always like to have these four if I can because they're so good. Ah. Ah, yeah, I, I want to try. I want to try to make it happen for real. And this also gives one Marshall. Yeah, and Prestige is so good. Diplomacy for level of fame, level of fame impact. Commission epic. Yeah, I want to try to force it. Let's see if we can get August. These four traits, and then we'll go learning for the rest of his life. And try to get every single perk here. Because his learning... He should get so much lifestyle experience in learning. You would think. Maybe we can pull it off. We'll see. Let's go Majesty Focus. Get back into it. Alright, let's put Automore down. <clears throat> oh my god, Automore is not even doing anything. Oh my goodness. Uh, increase control on county. And on 10 will take 5 years. Yeah, the capital needs to be taken care of as well. I should have been looking at these people more. Damn. Prestige a month is what we're working on right now. That's probably good, to be honest. We'll keep that going. Accosted. My agents have scheduled a journey for Onomore, which will take them through Dark Woods. All that is missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay him in a highway robbery gone wrong. I can already imagine his blood seeping into the dark soil. This is for abusing our cult. You did a lot of good things, but the fact that you were a non-believer and used us for your own purposes, it's time you finally pay the price. Just be glad you made, got to make it to 61. Wilderness can be such a dangerous place. We get stressed either way. That's annoying. Wilderness can be such a dangerous place. Dangerous journeys. The thugs did their job and Automor is no more. As the travel party stopped the camp for the evening, bandits poured out from among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough. Onomore was tragically slain in the melee. I remember when I was forced to view the execution of Bartholomeos by Onomore. Justice comes for all. I do remember that. Conveniently, most of the bandits were slain in the fighting, and the dead do not speak. No one will ever know of my involvement. Ha! <laughs> Perhaps commoners are not so useless after all. What a thought for us to have! That must be because we're arrogant. That's cr <laughs> that's crazy thing to say. Okay. Shad Lai is now our high shaman at 12. Alright, I have new prisoners from the siege. And that's a war over. Chiefess Bahrain for 25 golds. He has plenty of money. He can ransom for all these. Score. Alright, uh, Shad Lai. I can only change this once. <gasps> at least until they die, of course. No! We need the revocable clerical appointment doctrine. At least he's on his way out, mo kind of. Because 12 is not very good, to be honest. Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> we need to be able to fire people and all that. Yeah, for sure. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. Negative 3. You better start changing your mind about me soon, my man. He has a conversion and stuff? Oh, snap. How interesting. Alright, with that murder done, let's look for our future misses, hopefully. 
some of skills. We're doing a lot of dark stuff right now. All inside. Female. Jesus, Herculean. There she is. Should have just done that. Alright. We can now abduct. Agathe will soon be my prisoner. Oh, 10%! 13% secrecy because we're arrogant. That's so bad, actually. I'm gonna have to get agents. There's zero predicted agents. Start the scheme, I guess. I can't just give up before I try. You know what I mean? Like, she would be an amazing wife. Can't even invite anybody. Oh my god, that's probably not gonna work. Let's give it some time, but it's not looking good. There's one ransom down. Get all the money we can out of this. There we go. And with that, the war is won. Enforced demands. Mayor Huber's rot in your living body, so be it. And we don't have anyone that has that duchy yet. We have Chieftain Terde, no. And Chieftain Mashkud, Silver Tongue of Agam Melder. Yes, this is a man who deserves a second county. Yeah, he's got one county. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could end up giving him both of these duchies, to be honest. Gondar is a very small duchy. This is a small duchy. Even if I gave him these two duchies, that's only six counties. I could see that happening. Give him that. Or do we give him Gajam? Maybe I'd do that. Yeah, let me give him Gajam because it's part of the same duchy. That way we don't need to make that choice yet. There you are. Chief of Mashkud, you now have two counties. Good for you. Um, oh my god, this is so bad. Yikes. All right, finally the feast. The guests are gathered in the great hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. Ah, one of my favorite things is to watch people get intoxicated and hear them talk a lot more than they should. One of my favorite things... Uh, oh, sorry. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. We have 48 stress to get rid of. Let's go for it. Welcome, friends. <clears throat> yeah, recreation for sure. High Chieftain Nizam lost against... Gar Garad Bahir of Shirazid in the Holy War Holy War for the High Chieftain of Dawaro. Oh, look at the Shirazid! Okay, seven counties, over a thousand men, couple allies here. They've built themselves up a little bit, haven't they? That's just a touch more south than I was planning on going. Um, these are the two lakes that the Nile River on this side spill into that I wanted to get down to. I mean, perhaps we go more south in the future. I don't want to go too far because if we get two Empire titles, then succession becomes really awkward. But, um... I could go a little further south than that, but I'm probably not... I'm probably going to let Shirazid grow there for now. As long as we get to take these areas right here, I'll probably leave south of that alone for a long time. We really need to take this, don't we? Yeah, we really do. I should probably take that next, to be honest. Anyway, back to the feast. I still can't invite agents, man. I don't know how we're going to abduct her. This did not work at all like I thought it would. I really thought this would be better. Uh, yeah, who did? Support schemes. Scheme power up. Success chance up. That's better. 2730. <laughs> better than it was. You gained 75 prestige. In Yoka regaled you with ancient Egyptian swords history. I know it's history. It's been with me since it was made. I did everything I could ensuring that Lazaros and Masood would be as far from each other as possible. It was not enough and now they've come to blows in the middle of my feast. One of my guards is close to the brawl and looks at me for the order to intervene. Uh, Masood would destroy you. Throw Masood out to cool off. Restrain Lazaros until things calm down. I'd rather be friends with Masood for sure. He's literally my food taster. Restrain Lazaros until things calm down.
Uh, is there anything more jovial than a good feast? Guests throng to and fro, eating and chatting while flickering torchlight plays off every wall. Light bouncing like laughter around the hall. Coordinating so many people and servants is an underappreciated task, one with no small degree of subtle difficulty to it, and it's pleasing to see it done well. Sometimes it's nice to simply sit back and enjoy the little things in life. This is where I want to be. 50 stress! That's everything! Oh, yeah, look at our wife. Astonishes guest. Development of Chieftain of a 10 goes up 20. That's good stuff. That's all our stress. Good folk to mingle with here. 8 stress. And 20 opinion with everyone that has a trait in common. Chance to be seen with a great and good. 3 stress because we're arrogant and 75 prestige. No shot. 3, 8, or 50. That's all of our stress. And when you're diligent, it's hard to get that much stress gone. This is where I want to be. Huge stress loss there. That is massive for us. Absolutely massive. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my guest in Yoka goes on and on about investment opportunities. And that was how he salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? No, no, please, do go on. An interesting conversation for 10 years. Diplomacy and learning for 10 years. Gained another 75 prestige from No More Coup. Because he's impressed by our artifacts. Let's go. Why don't we talk more about you instead? Yeah, let's go with the interesting conversation. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. We have so much prestige. Let me increase our army. And we're not going to get onagers for forever. Another 28 years. I'm just going to build the light footmen. And station them. And Tariq is available and very good. Let's go with Tariq. There we go. And that'll be... That'll easily put us over 5,000. What happened here? The Temple of Sana. Where? Uh, I could give the temple to a local Amara noble. Grant the title, title to a noble of the local culture and the ominous faith. To a noble of your culture and the ominous faith. Yes, a noble of the ancient Egyptian culture. Do that. Hedman Nahi of Sana. Okay, I was going to say, his stats just didn't load in yet. I was like, there's no shot he's that bad. Oh my god, that 27% abduction is so bad. Target is in foreign realm. We're in so much trouble. We're not going to be able to marry Agathe. The chance, even the secrecy is terrible. <sighs> Damn it. That's so unfortunate that my whole plan is ruined that way. Bug tells a fantastic joke about smoothly polished sticks. He gains 150 prestige. Every guest lost 20 stress? Damn. I listen intently to Yehudit she carelessly reveals all manner of things. You're my spy master. You can't be doing this, Yehudit. Distracted by trying to get one last drop of her tankard, she's oblivious how carefully I'm paying attention. Once she lies, she starts getting up. I'm only rambling. It's not true anyways, any of it. She happened to be very interesting rambling. She murdered! Oh! <laughs> Busted! Busted! Oh, I see... The feast is starting to draw to a close and my visitors are surely expecting me to lavish a little attention on a high chieftain Kareem, our esteemed guest of honor. Traditionally, a complimentary toast and a deep drink of tea does the trick. Then again, all Kareem did was turn up. This feast was my idea. I paid for everything and I hosted everyone. <laughs> no way. Why are you such a bad person, Menkare? <laughs> Why are you like this? 16 stress because we're arrogant? Let's address the swain of the hour. Uh, no. And you're all very welcome for my hospitality. He loses 20 opinion because we neglected him. But we lose 15 stress to get 75 prestige. I just don't want to leave this feast with stress built up. That sounds... Ah, oh, Menkare, why are you like this, Menkare? What is wrong with you? He took it personally, closer to growing a rivalry. I don't blame him, to be honest. Countess Irene Abu of Ab Abu Hamad has accused my vassal Hatia Irene of having had an extramarital affair with her lover Hatia Epimakos. Wow, these names. How could she defile the sanctity of her marriage? Amun Ra will judge those sinners. Yeah, we don't do adultery here. Otherwise, we would have already gotten in on that. <laughs> we would have been seducing people and all that good stuff. Oh, uh, man. How do I get agents involved? I don't even know how. The celebrations end. 
Few candles survive after the last of the guests have left. I can hear a pair of servants letting out sighs of relief after the doors close. The food is still warm on the ceramic plates. Soon word will reach every corner of the realm and every noble worth their salt will know that my magnificence is unparalleled. With all my guests leaving my castle with the entire contents of my vast pantry in their bellies, I'm proud to say that the feast was a success. Nevertheless, I'm still grateful that the endeavor is over for now. With that all, and with that, it's all done. Non-courtly attending vassals all get 10 opinion. That's not terrible. 115 prestige, 20 legitimacy. You increase your legitimacy level to true. <gasps> really? Let's go. That's fire. You can lose 8 stress because you're greedy. That's fine. Chief of 10 gets great banquet for popular opinion and development growth. We get progress towards eager reveler. Did we actually? Yahud, it lauds your efforts. You lose another 5 stress. Nice. Kareem gained 15 opinion of us. Yay. <laughs> Wine, ale, and fine food. What better relief from the troubles of the world is there than a night of revelry? As each feast ends, I find myself planning the next, but I have other pursuits. I wonder who will come. Eager reveler. Why would you not want this? This is purely a positive. Makari has sampled the intoxicating life of carousing and debauchery and is hungry for more. Plus one intrigue, plus five courtly vassal opinion, plus 15 e opinion of eager reveler characters. Yeah, let's grab that trait. Finish feast. All right, we're in there. Nice. And now we're a true ruler. <clears throat> or not. It said we were. Damn. We're so close. We're right there. Do I have to play for a second? No, nah, we're right there. We are so damn close to being a true ruler. All right, let me see the cost of a tour. Uh, that's right, everybody's still out and about. But if I were to go and do this loop like this, and visit these three places, it would still have ten high danger areas. Desert Warrior plus Mercenary Guards would get it to 341. That's way more reasonable, but still fairly dangerous. Three high danger locations? Four medium? Soon. It's, it's a lot closer than I thought, but not yet. Not yet. Um, we need to work on that county control. We need to get things working here. Um, nothing else I need to be doing, right? I don't think so. No. Okay. Uh, war, then. To, to war we go. Let's take this land before Damot can. We cannot. There's a truce. Bakhlin it is. Conquer the duchy. 280 prestige. Yeah, that's going to be ours. No factions even close. Things are looking good. Other than county control, things are looking good. Wow. it's a lot of military. Let's have this group, led by Teru, go here. Ak can lead this group here. And then these groups can join once they're done gathering. Agatha gained 25 opinion. Does that help? Uh, not really. 2831, man. That ain't not... That is not it. <laughs> that is not it. Alright. Join these together for 2200. Get in there. Bogirj? I guess he's the best man for the job at the moment. Alright. That war can basically do itself. <clears throat> I'm at my table, reading through some reports sent to me from throughout the realm. Meow hops up beside me, chasing the warmth of a sunbeam, and curls up contentedly beside my work. I reach out to give her gray for a stroke, and she stretches langur languorously in response. A mighty stretch. Too mighty, as it turns out. Meow rolls over and completely off the table, landing on her feet. With a haughty glare as if this was somehow my fault, she saunters away sulkily. <laughs> you little fool. You gained dopey cat for ten years. Less stress gain. This character's cat is, let's say, a little clumsy. I love that Meow is the dopey cat. <laughs> I've had dopey cats growing up. Those are the most lovable cats. I, uh, Honest to God. Those things are so great. <laughs> oh, man. Whoops. That's not the one I wanted to click on. Uh, let that play out for a bit, actually. A hunt could give legitimacy. So we don't need stress loss right now, so let me calm down on all this. 
We could try this Ancestor Veneration Ceremony, but it just doesn't make sense because we don't have any other than Amun-Ra. It's not exactly like he's gone. Factions are good. Man, the fact this is at 28%, dude. This is really not good for abducting Agathe. And if we abandon it, he can't start another one for 10 years. So basically, unless we abduct her this time, it's off the table. We've already failed. It's this time or no time. Where did this happen? I was not paying attention. We're still good. Bogears can lead it well enough, but I'm a little surprised by that. <clears throat> Wiped out. Get out of here. 48 to 709, the slaughter at Shawak. Yikes for you guys. We're losing gold. We have so much military out right now. Huh. Yeah, 5.4 on our raised armies. A little pricey, a little pricey. Oh, the Tullinids? The Alumuri Emirate got you. Part of the Tullinid group. They are trying to take Baklin, one of these counties. Fair enough, I suppose. I suppose that makes sense. Spouse's patron of theologians. You gain a hundred piety, despite your despite your spouse's poor learning skill. Nice. Favorite hook on High Chief and Kareem, really. Interesting. I don't know why, but okay. I could um change his contract no I can't for some reason I thought I would be able to the Abbasid Empire is now in our diplomatic range that's scary that is scary and we are finally 30 years old by the way we are there um, Adam Atem is not three yet so we don't know his personality hopefully I'm hoping for rowdy or bossy those would be great we'll see though Court Grandula 4, show off. <clears throat> we have enough prestige, we should be able to pop a few wars here, to be honest. Ostrich eggs, what? Ostriches can be found throughout the regions around the Red Sea. Traditionally, in these parts, ostrich eggs are used as containers for small items, or even as an alternative to water skins, and they are a fairly popular export. I was given one such egg, decorated in beautiful, colorful patterns, as a gift today by some locals under my rule. A splendid gift. Decorative ostrich egg for 10 years, point three prestige a month. Thank you, locals. They love us. Or they're terrified of us and want to get on our good side. Either way, we are in good with the locals. A splendid gift. Thank you, locals. Wow, wait, we're halfway there. It hasn't failed yet. Hang it in there! <laughs> oh my god. I can't use any of these hooks. Blackmail. Yeah, hit it. Um, yeah, she won't like that. I don't think we can recruit her, though. Isn't she already helping with it? Because of the Spymaster thing? We get a strong hook on Yehidit at the cost of 15 opinion. This is a messed up thing to do to a friend. We'll do it if we need to, but otherwise I'm going to try to avoid it. Yep. Okay. I just wish I knew, like... I wish I could look at the agent list to know, like, who was close. Because it says zero characters could be convinced to join. Show me a list of people that are close. You know what I mean? Like, who can I sway? Who can I send gifts to, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Amir Walali has lost against Amir Abd al-Hamid of al-Umari in the Eastern Conquest on the Chiefdom of Wadi Amur. Yet there it is. The Tullinid Dynasty grows again. Scary stuff. 33 counties. They're actually less than us. They're actually smaller than us. They just have such quality counties. Look at all this. Oh my god. Oh, I want all of it. Oh, Alexandria, the future capital. If all goes according to plan, dude. They have all the good stuff. I want it. Alright, these sieges are going to be done any second. 
that is the war. We got his guest. Fatal. No, we don't. Oh, he'll ransom, really? Very nice. I guess I'll let these sieges end because, you know. Yeah, we get the loot. Oh, no, here, hold up. Loot is three here. That's not great. And loot there is 15. Let me see if we get three loot when the siege finishes. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already almost over. We might as well let it play out. And then we'll end the war. Queen Basharo is pregnant again. We keep working on that. Let's go. We have six months left on the Agathe abduction, but at 28%, it's not looking good. And we've gotten, like, no events to improve it, you know? Unfortunately. Okay. Well, okay. Well, here we go. Here's an event. <clears throat> As part of my ongoing plan to abduct Agathe, some of my minions regularly intercept her letters. Due to my expert comprehension of Sudonic, I could personally read them rather than relying on secondhand translations. But it was sure to take time away from some of my duties. Perhaps I would glean valuable insights this way. You gain 15 stress, but you gain personally translating letters for 10% scheme success chance. 15 stress for 10% more success chance, and it would gain progress. Oh, we gotta try. I really want to see if we can snag Agathe. This sounds really bad, but I do. 15 stress acquired. We can pet Meow? Not yet. Soon. Very soon, actually. We're just over a month away from being able to do that. Train for a tournament. Train your prowess. You and your champions will sharpen your skills. If successful, is to raise your prowess for the martial events of an upcoming grand tournament. Does it only temporarily do that? Call Steel cannot go unanswered. I shall don my equipment and head to the training grounds for some practice. I want to do this. I want to see if this is a permanent increase or just for the grand tournament coming up. Start the training. And then you turn to the right, High Chieftain Kareem yells, while dealing a powerful blow to my sword that makes me take a couple of steps back. They won't go gentle on you in the tourney, my lord, he says, drying the sweat from his forehead. If you want to win, you can't afford to lose. If you want to win, you can't afford to lose. Not even to me. Not even once. Damn. Okay. Ah! Uh, 38% that we get strong and plus one prowess. Yo, let's... Do you know how huge that would be? Oh my god. The training is impressive. You get 59%, you get one prowess. 2% you gain well-trained for 10 years, which sucks. 0% hurt yourself. Every champion training successful prowess by one. Dude, if we can get the trait strong on a 38 right here... Man, I really need my 38s in my life to go right, don't I? Oh, man. That would be so sick. There's no way! Let's go! Oh my god, Menkare. Oh my god. I popped out of my seat on that one. Let's go! We hit the 38 to grab the strong trait on top of the prowess increase. And I think that's... Sh I think that's permanent. And we can do that every 10 years? We absolutely need to do that every 10 years. That is incredible. Our prowess just took off. And our medium health boost too? To live longer? Oh my goodness. Wow, that could not have gone better. Can we also back that up here? That would be insane. If we hit both 38s. Force demands. You child of a mangy dog. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I'll comply with your demands. So be it. Nazir Kanun became our vassal. Did he now? He will accept conversion at 100%. The difference in fervor, he's terrified of us. Difference in learning skill, we are his liege. Alright. He's about to go from negative to 100. Negative 100 to... I mean, probably like negative 50, but it's something. Expand all. How long until we can gather them all back up? Right away. That's what I'm talking about. How long is our truce with these people? It is over! Good timing! We can conquer this duchy now! Wow. Yeah, we really can cook right now, can't we? Okay, this... What the... 
Bucklean is six counties. It looks even bigger than that, but okay, six counties. It's kind of insane. I also have that one. Kasala belongs to Nesadenya, and Tigre belongs to Nesadenya. But she also owns a couple over there as well. So I'm reluctant, kind of reluctant to give her all that, but she is ambitious, diligent, and greedy. Wow, she, other than ambitious instead of arrogant, arrogant, she's basically us. Steward. Yeah, she is pretty talented, isn't she? High Chieftain Pilatos is steward. Not for long. I'm about to give her her own, her own setup right here. How impressive are our children? Ooh, to be honest, not stellar. Interesting. Deceitful and diligent. Still diligent, but deceitful's not as good. But then again, he's not any good either. Impatient, generous, and pensive. He's trusting, generous, and craven. Which does make him easy to manipulate. He's a pretty good spy master if he needs to be. He's a torturer. Not a bad lineup, to be honest. Huh. And what are my other options? Um, I wish I could do it by unlanded. Some of skills. He has land, he has land. They all have land. Okay, it doesn't actually say whether they... My bad, my bad. I, I misunderstood. Anil. He's Coptic. But he's brave, diligent, and calm. If we could convert him... There's a chance this could actually work pretty well. Hmm. No. Let's not bank on a conversion, please. Mashkud, Nomark, Chieftain. Anil was the highest out of all of them. That doesn't already have something. He's lustful, calm, and diligent, but he's really old. Tomotheosa, Michael Michael What? Masood owns nothing. Is not bad at humble, vengeful, and shy. Now, nah, let's give it to someone who's already out here. Nesadenya, huh? Alright. There you go. She loves us. Absolutely loves us. And for good reason. For good reason. Alright, and High Chieftain Pilatos is also loving that because... She is one of his people, except if I make... If I usurp this duchy and give it to her, then he loses control of her. Which is pretty tempting, if I'm being honest. Just usurping is so much more expensive than just creating the title. Which is really a bummer. Alright, enough stalling, enough, <laughs> enough thinking. Let's get over to another war. Conquer duchy. Declare war. Gained a rival. Because I declared war on him, declared war on him. I mean, I guess that's fair. <laughs> I can't hate him for that. Kanun has converted to Ominism, and he's still at negative hundred. Wow. Okay. This man had allies. How many? Not much. To bestie, you are not going to be able to change the results here. Wow, he's sinful. He's a sinner. You don't get to see that one very often. Okay, also Danakil's joining in. Now there's 4,200 defenders. Now they're probably feeling a little more confident, to be honest. But... There's only three counties and I'm about to capture two of them. So I don't know if they can stop us. Let's go Kareem. Let's hit it. Man... Kareem and Mashkud are just such in, are just such amazing marshals. They are disgustingly strong. I love it. Yeah, I think this war is going to end before they can stop us, but we'll see. I can't believe this is still working. 3841. I thought we'd have been busted by now. Agathe, come on. 38%. 38% is so not good. <laughs> And this is the last time we're going to sway her right here. 
It's at 63%. There's the abduction. 38% with two months estimated. Damn. You've swayed her as much as you can, and she's a plus 75. Okay. Now it's just a matter of can we abduct her at 38%? And if we can't, do we get the 41% secrecy? Oy, oy, oy. Hopefully this doesn't screw us over here. Um, at least hit the secrecy if we fail the success. Failing both, there's a 36% chance we fail both. Um, so yeah, that's not that low, to be honest. That would really suck. It's about equally likely that we fail both, that we succeed on the abduction, actually. Now that I think about that. Uh, they're doing everything they need to. We're working on county control. Good. Fairs bestowing royal favor. Supporting schemes. Alright, Agathe. Come home. Your new home. Imagine we hit both 38% today. That would be crazy. <laughs> it's keeping me in suspense. It's not happening. It's just stuff. Your health is excellent. Full of vim and vigor. We're not just good health. We're in excellent health. We're so close to being legitimate. <clears throat> Meow. Amorous endeavors? What? Candles, oh, this is, okay. Candles sputter and sheets rustle as Basharo and I intertwine in bed. We try to be quiet, but sometimes the sounds are a little too resonant. The gasp, the size, the meows? I bolt upright to find Meow sitting quite happily on a pillow next to us, purring contentedly. As I ponder what to do, mouth agape, she begins noisily cleaning a paw. Basharo looks at me haughtily. I give the satisfied feline a half-hearted shove. She rolls over onto her back, ready to play. Oh, for, <laughs> shoo! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> These characters have their amor amorous encounters disrupted by the presence of an over-friendly cat. Meow, what are you doing here? Be rude to disturb her. Queen <laughs> Bashar was disappointed. We'll try. Oh, for chew. You successfully shoot the cat away. We did it. Okay. We hit the 64. Can we hit the 38, please? The suspense? How is it not over with yet? The stolen keg. Okay. I caught these two hiding in the pantry. A very irate cook shouts at me, dragging my son Pai and Mary Akuda in tow. Mary Akuda had stolen a whole keg of mead. Pai tried to put it back by himself before I noticed, but no such luck for him, he says angrily. It seems like my word is a little troublemaker, but one that had a change of heart. So she stole it, and then he tried to bring it back, and you're mad at him? My boy is diligent, baby! Let's go! <laughs> By yourself, that's very diligent of you. Good boy. I'm so proud of you, Pi. That's like the best trait you can get in our whole religion. Oh, God. Pi, let's go. Content and diligent, huh? We can vibe with that. We can vibe with that. Look at those stats at 11 years old 12, 9, 11, 7, 16, 10. Okay. Okay. Not bad at all. His intrigue's not great, but since he's going to be a good person, probably, uh, that's that's fine. Oh my god, dude. This Agathe thing is killing me. It's just icing it. It's just refusing to finish. Success. Come on, baby. Work for us. Oh, it's almost the turn of the century, by the way. Wow, this abduction has been really icing us right now. Gafat's under siege. We'll deal with it soon. Okay. My agents tell me that Agathe is traveling. I've arranged for some brigands to interrupt her little journey and make sure she arrives here instead. Soon she'll be at my mercy. You lose 30 gold, 30% chance she becomes our prisoner. 59% chance we're discovered. A successful abduction will reveal my identity. So either way, I'm discovered. 30 gold on a 38% chance. Agathe, will you marry Menkare? 
This is such a terrible way to do this, man. Soon she'll be at my mercy. No way, dude! We are popping off right now! What is this RNG? This playthrough is so lucky. I can't believe how much luck we've had. Other than that one time that Automore survived a 95% murder. Oh my god. This is insane. What a what a lucky episode. Wow, I got out of my seat again. Success. The brigands did their job admirably, and Agathe is safely in my hands. I hope she likes her new quarters. I genuinely do. She lost 30 opinion for 10 years. I don't blame her. Alright, we accept that. Now, we recruit her and demand conversion. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> and a weak hook? Oh, we can't get a weak hook. That's alright. Just becoming ominous and joining us will be plenty to start with. Welcome, Agathe. I just abducted her to recruit her to court and demand her to be our religion. That's so messed up, man. <laughs> I can't believe we hit that 38% and the 38% on strong and got diligent on our son. Wow. And hit the 63% on the sway, I think. We are just crushing it. Farewell, Agathe. Look at that, plus 100. My courtier, soon to be my wife. There we go. And she's not even lowborn. She's just part of an obscure house is all. Let's go. Chance of children high. Do a grand wedding for this one. I want to see a grand wedding. Agathe might give birth to some crazy good kids. Send the proposal. Average cost is 180. Promise to organize a grand wedding, making the marriage offer more likely to be accepted. Not that we need that. You have three years to fulfill your promise, or there will be serious consequences. Interesting. <clears throat> and this guy is who exactly? I'll deal with you later. I can't believe we pulled this off. That is crazy. Let's do a grand wedding. I want to show off to everybody what we've done here. Set the proposal. Now betrothed to Agathe of Turpicule. Betrothed can marry in grand wedding. What? Why did my betrothal no not happen anymore with her? Former sp- what? What do you mean? Can I not marry and still be betrothed to someone else at the same time? I honestly did not know that. Huh. I, I, honest to God, learned something new today. Alright, this guy wasn't in the battle. He was just captured while he was in, in a city. So we're just going to demand conversion of Wee Cook. There was no battle that he was supposed to die in. You know what I mean? He just, you know, he's just a dude. That is really weird to me, actually. Let me hit play and see what happened here. I honestly can't do that? That seems so strange to me. Grand wedding, baby! Let's go! <clears throat> Anticipated rewards proposed in grand wedding activities. Selected spouses get married, prestige, legitimacy, opinion, courtly vassals, eager reveler, lose stress, magnificent host, gracious host. Oh, yes. Let's go. <clears throat> Other characters will be more likely to accept this character's marriage proposals for the next 20 years. Ah, look at that. Diplomacy lifestyle experience, too. That's crazy. 15 stress. We're not very stressed at the moment, but let's plan it out. A bloody wedding. That is sick! We could do the red wedding! Do you know how cool that would be? Oh, we need to do that before this playthrough is over. The grand wedding. A wedding is meant to be a magnificent celebration of the union of two spouses, but also two families. She doesn't have a family, but that's alright. In a 10, of course. No travel needed. Alright. Uh... So, we can do home entertainment, decrease prestige gain. Acrobats and musicians for parochi parochial and zealot vassals will gain more opinion of you. Average prestige, prestige gain. And troubadour, troubadours and exotic fiends. Eager reveler trade experience, increased prestige gain. And glory hound and courtly vassals will gain more opinion of you. Maybe. <clears throat> Food and drinks. 
Decreased opinion gain with all attendant characters. Modest feast. Generous feast. Average opinion gain with all attendant characters. Or gargantuan meal. Bonus to stress loss. Increased health bonuses. Health bonuses? Really? That's crazy. Increased opinion gain with all attendant characters and all that good stuff. Okay. And garlands and torches. Wildflowers. Eager reveler chariot experience gain. Decreased opinion with courtly vassals. Garlands and torches. Average opinion gain with your courtly vassals and gain gracious host. <gasps> I can force magnificent host. For the next 20 years? That is crazy. This character has hosted a magnificent grand wedding. Other characters will be more likely to accept their proposal, blah, blah, blah. More lifestyle experience and diplomacy. Stewardship we're not actually going to use, but diplomacy. Monthly renown, monthly prestige, courtly vassal opinion. That's crazy. And renown and prestige. Increased opinion game with your courtly vassals. More opinion with glory hound and courtly vassals. We're definitely doing silver and gold. 100%. That's happening. Eager reveler trade experience doesn't hurt. And increased health bonuses don't hurt. We can do a gargantuan meal, Trabadors and exotic fiends, and silver and gold for 318 gold for the whole event. Is that worth it? I want to say it is. Let's go with the most extravagant wedding you can imagine. Let's go big. <clears throat> Let's go big. Yeah, because it's only 45 gold. Oh, wow. And the fact that we have traditional Terramin weddings and tribal era. Gargantuan meal is supposed to be 180, but it's actually 68 because of all of our bonuses and the fact that we're tribal. So that's actually kind of nuts how cheap it is compared to how much it should be. So we really should take advantage of these while we can. 27 guests. Nice. Let's start the Grand Wedding. How long? Six months until it begins? Okay. There it is. And we're going to have to dress her up too. And if we can make this happen, I'm going to need to see if I can figure out a way to change who the main spouse is, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Basharo has given birth to a lot of kids and a lot of impressive kids, but we're finally getting some spouses together. <laughs> it's finally happening. It was only a matter of time, I guess. 45 days on that. Another son from Basharo. Thank you. Words cannot describe my love for you, and now we have a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what will I call you? He's pure-blooded! That's good! Genius, robust, pure-blooded. Damn. It's actually got a great lineup right there. Oh. That's really interesting. That makes him, like, the most qualified genetically, but at the same time, he's the sixth child. Probably not going to get away, with, get away with taking over, is he? Um, Lisa gave us some previous pharaoh names that we could use. And uh, Meow also noticed that he liked the name Narmer. The first pharaoh of the combined upper and lower Egypt. So let's go with Narmer. There's also Semerket, which I really like the sound of. So Semerket will probably be a kid as well. But Narmer, may you grow strong and wise, my son. Narmer Terramin, look at this man. <laughs> Ready to go. Favor hook, good on Dalmar on Dalmaraways. That's a fun name. Oh my god, wait! I have to... It's been an hour? What? Are you serious? This does not feel like I've been playing for an hour, but it was... It went really well. I guess this is where we stop for today. Damn. <laughs> Damn, I guess we have a grand wedding next time. We went up one year in age. One. There's no way it's been an hour. If I stop this recording and it hasn't been an hour yet, I'm gonna be back. But assuming that it actually has been... Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments. It's been an absolute blast. At a 10 is 3. Oh, he got pensive as well. We'll make him a steward.
Unfortunate. I just can't get a warrior son, can I? <laughs> our our family is just Maybe Jet or Narmer will make it happen, I don't know. Nope. Uh no, this is the temp, sorry. Maybe Jet? Maybe Narmer? Jet is the least intelligent son at intelligent. What happened with Nefertari? If she is our kid, she really missed genetically compared to every other kid out here. Huh. <clears throat> but Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep trying. It looks like a Tem is not gonna be our great warrior after all. Bummer. Thank you again so much. And I'll see all of you for more Crusader Kings 3 tours and tournaments, blah blah blah. I've already said all this. Y'all know the deal. I got distracted. The game is extremely good. I'm having a ton of fun. And we got so lucky this game. I'm gonna be geeking about it out about it all night. I'll see all you later. <laughs> God, this game is so good. I can't believe it. And we got so luck. Oh my god.